Hello everyone, this is Frederick. Today this is a tutorial about uh, the value precision precept, which helps you to enter more precise value when working in notes. This is probably the most commonly used preset in my project. While it's nothing special, it's very useful for certain tasks. First of all, in Blender, when you move a slider, the usual way to input a more precise value is by holding shift when you drag that which adjusts the, the slider in steps of about 0 0.01. Usually this is accurate enough, but it doesn't go any finer. If you are already working at 0 0.01 scale and need more fine tuning, holding shift doesn't really help. There have been many designs and suggestions to improve this, but none have ever been fully implemented. So I made a node preset for this function called a value position. By default, it works by dividing values, meaning that you are working in a scale less than one, and you can either input a number directly or type in any value. The key feature is this decimal shift, which is also explained in this tooltip. For example, by default with decimal shift one, this node outputs 1 divided by 10, which is 0 0.1. If I change the decimal shift to 2, it outputs 1 divided by 100, which gives 0 0.01. In this way, the node tree remembers the scale you want for each socket, and you can choose not to drag the slider. Sometimes I just type in numbers randomly to quickly guess values and see the result. Personally, I find the typing numbers more comfortable than dragging sliders. Of course, the downside is that adding many of these nodes can clutter the node tree and create maintenance issues, but in my opinion, it's worth it. There are also some additional functions in this node, like outputting negative values. In advanced mode, there is an option to add on top of one. This helps. This is helpful when you need values like 0 0.98 or 1.02, where reaching keys like 890 can be inconvenient when typing. It also supports multiplying by delta time if you're using it in simulation zone if needed. However, these features are less commonly used and outside the scope of today's tutorial. Another note is that Starting from 4.5, I added this decimal shift in many of my presets that require small values, such as normal displacement, solidify, and so on and so forth. It may be confusing to new users which parameter is the decimal shift is affecting, but the general rule is it's affecting the value above. I hope this way it can minimize the amount of value precision node required for the whole node graph. Overall, it's a very simple function, but I find it extremely useful, and I hope it will be useful to you as well. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll probably see you next time. Bye bye.